What I want you guys to understand are a few things, all right? When you're first getting a, a clients, right? Um, who do you think would be the most, for those of you that are on the residential side, type it in the chat. Who do you think would be the most likely person? You got your real estate license today, okay? Who's the first person you're gonna ask if you can help, right? Take a guess, guys. Would it be strangers? People that have never seen your face before? You just got your license. You just, just walked out, right? Just got your license. You're walking through. And who do you think you're going to help? Or would it make sense for you to reach out to, I don't know. Yeah, Ruby says Sphere. Good, great guess. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, Frank says Family and W. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Family, friends, Sphere, okay? People that already know you, like you, trust you. You with me, guys? Does that make sense? Okay. So the point I want you guys to understand is this. When you're first getting started in commercial, do you know everything about everything? No. I mean, I'll go on record and saying you'll never know anything about anything, everything about everything, right? Um, but, the, but, but the thing is, you won't know kind of what the norm is. You won't know what all the ins and outs are. And you'll probably feel a little shy sometimes. Maybe like you don't know, oh, what do I say here? I don't want to say the wrong thing. You guys ever gotten any, for those of you that are kind of dipping your toe into commercial, have you ever, um, have you ever like had an, an instance where you're like, oh man, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Type one in the chat. All right. If you're with me. All right. I certainly did. I used to speak. I mean, I already speak fast. Right. But like I, I used to speak really fast on the phone so I could get off so, so that I didn't have to answer a question that I didn't know the answer to, guys. I'm just being honest, right? I remember being nervous, especially when I first started selling income producing properties because like people can ask you a very specific question and you feel embarrassed so you don't know the answer. Okay, there we go. Ruby's with me, Ryan's with me, Zoom users with me, Deborah's with me. Okay, cool. So here's the thing, guys. Doesn't it make sense in the beginning, before you start cold calling people, doesn't it make a bit of sense for you to, I don't know, reach out to people that know, like, and trust you? Who's with me, right? Type an exclamation point in the chat, right? Why? Why would you do that? Well, it's easy. If, if you don't know what you're you know, what the answer to a question is, and you say, hey, you know what? Not 100% sure, but I can find out for you, okay? They're going to be like, okay, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're relatively new. You know what I mean? All right. So what I want you guys to understand is there's a whole sea of people out there, you know, since the day you were born that know, like, and trust you. And you can go out and you can tap into them as a way of getting started in commercial, right? You guys, does that, does that make a, a lot of sense? Type hundred in the chat if that makes a whole lot of sense. Okay. Because what I want you guys to do, all right, and I'm going to pull up the sheet in just a second. What I want you guys to do is start getting the wheels turning, okay? Instead of raising the bar so high in terms of level of difficulty that you're like, oh man, I hope this person doesn't ask me a question I don't know. Call your high school buddy, call your cousin, call your brother, call your sister, see who you can help from there. Don't you think they'll be a little bit more a, a little bit more forgiving, right? Because I'll tell you what, I wouldn't want to be, you know, dealing with some stranger on, on something I, I don't know about and then be embarrassed to answer questions. You with me, guys? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull open today's uh, 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 um, uh, uh, training. Just, be, just give me one second. I'm going to give you some ideas, okay? I want to give you ideas because I want you guys to understand this stuff isn't rocket science, okay? I, I have what I call um, front of the pack thinking and back of the pack thinking, okay? F-O-T-P. And what that means, guys, how many of you are like the, man, if I could just figure it out, okay? Like, like, uh, like I don't know what the answers are, but I know I, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll figure out the, the steps. How many of you guys say type F-O-T-P in the chat if you're like, yeah, I'll, I'll figure this out one way or the other, you know? Okay, like, like I don't know the answer, but I'll figure it out, all right? Cool. Yep. Scott's with me. Donovan's with me. Yes. Deborah's with me. Good. Good, 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 good. So what I want you guys to understand is very, very simple. I want you to create a list of all of the places that you need to go in order to get started. Okay. So type in the chat guys. All right. What's, who's the first people you should be reaching out to? Who is the first people you should be reaching out to? Right. We're going to crowdsource this because you know what you know best, right? Okay. First deal. All right. So Sherilyn says familiar people. Love it. Okay, cool. Familiar people. 
All right, let, let me go ahead and um and and, uh, and share my screen so we can create this list together. Because you know what we're going to do today, guys? Okay. Your challenge between now and next Tuesday is to call 100 people. Sounds like a lot, but it's really not. It's 13 a day for seven days, right? It's not, it's not really a big deal. You guys think you could call 13 people if it meant you having a deal, 13 people a day between now and next time I see you guys, if it meant you having your first commercial deal, okay? Now, uh, before we get into this list, real quick, Scott, okay? I'm gonna put you on the spot if you can. Uh, Scott's one of my students from, from, I guess he joined about maybe two and a half, maybe three years ago, okay? And Scott, if you could tell everybody your experience was, what was that first deal that you came through when, when we walked you through this, this exercise? Uh, that, that was actually the first um, exercise was to reach out to your spear. And I said, you know what? What the heck? Let me get it done. Mm -hmm. Did it. And I, I got a deal from that within the first week. <laughs> in the first week. Now, now let, let's walk through the numbers. Am I right in saying it was a two and a half million dollar building? Someone was needing help with, with buying? That's correct. Okay. And am I right in saying that it was a two and a half percent fee you earned? Yes. Okay. Now, for those of you doing the math at home, Scott, if you can enlighten them, how much you put in your pocket from the first deal in the first week in the program? That was about $60,000. Yeah, sixty-two. If I remember correctly, sixty-two, sixty-two thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. So, so guys, just do me a favor, right? Type sixty-two in the chat, okay? Sixty-two k, because that I, I, I mean, that's like a, a new Mercedes. I mean, that's the Lexus. I don't know, Scott. Uh, and and you did exactly what I just told everyone to do. Am I correct? That's correct. Okay. Now, here's the thing I want to point out, guys. There are 52 people on this call. There's a couple of note-taking devices, but give or take, there's 50 people on this call, okay? I'm willing to bet less than three people. I'm willing to bet not less than two people will do it. I'm, I'll be shocked if one person does it. I just told you the way to get your first deal, okay? And we're gonna create a list of all the places to go. That's not the hard part. And I just showed you somebody. I didn't had no idea Scott was gonna be on tonight. That's so funny, right? But more importantly, I just showed you someone that did it and put $62,000 in his pocket, okay? How many of you type me in the chat if you are gonna be the exception to the rule and you're gonna make your 13 dials a day for the next seven days, okay? And find your first commercial deal because it put 60, over 60,000 in Scott's pocket. Who's gonna do it? Type me in the chat. Nicole says me, right? Okay, who else? Anybody else? Yeah, okay, Holly, Doreen, Ruby. Yes, good, Ronald. Okay, Donovan, good, 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 good. Okay, so let's crowdsource this, guys. I want you to think, start thinking of, okay, so familiar people. Who are some familiar people? Let's go with, uh, so, so I, want, I want you guys to start throwing out ideas. Well, who are some people that we can reach out to? Okay, family and friends. That's pretty obvious, right? Okay, what else you got, guys? What else? Brandy, Amber, Holly, okay. Ooh, that's a great question, Anthony. Who do you call when you reached out to everyone already? Call them again. You know why, right? Let me ask you this, guys. Has your life ever changed in the blink of an eye with one phone call, with one text, with one doctor visit, with one letter in the mail? You with me, guys? Okay? Everybody on this call their life can change in the blink of an eye, okay? Why? That's what's called life. And believe it or not, it's happening to every single person watching right now. So what is the point? Just because a week ago they didn't need your help, they might need it today. So do not be afraid to call them back. All right, Anthony? Okay. So uh, Holly says, maybe we work with someone in a former profession. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Let's go with coworkers, all right? Coworkers. Uh, or let's go with previous coworkers. Love it. All right, who else has something? All right, we're going to do this together. Residential agents. Love it. Yeah, okay. All right, what else? Business contacts? Good. Uh, Amber, be a little more specific. What do you mean by business contacts? You mean like uh, uh, vendors? Do you mean clients? What do you mean by that, Amber? I like where you're going with that. Okay. Do, 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 do. Come on, everybody. We're, I'm going to give you this list at the end, okay? But I want you guys to all have it, okay? Vendors, residential agents, brokers. Yeah, ooh, there we go, Judy. Church, love it. 
How about your church? Okay, it could be synagogue, it could be uh, mosque, whatever, whatever it is, wherever you go to worship, okay? Banks and attorneys, love it. All right. Uh, landlords, ooh, that's a good one. All right, cool. Business owners, okay. Okay, any of these people that know, like, and trust you guys. Now, I like where a lot of you go. Uh, Ruby says, kids, activity, parents, yes. Parents of uh, your kids, love it. Yeah, if they'll allow your, the, your kid to go over their house or their kid to come to your house for a play date, do you think they know, like, and trust you? Yeah, okay. Neighbors, good stuff, Anthony, yeah. All right, so I'm a terrible speller, as you guys can see. All right, all right, cool. Keep it coming, guys. guys this is what anyone you want, you have an appointment with, uh, a doctor, yeah, heck yeah. Yeah, exactly, like you pay them money, your doctor, your dentist, you know? All right. Good. 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 Okay. And folks, going back to the um, going back to to the the, the reason behind this. Okay. Uh, the reason why we're reaching out to these people is like you don't have to like convince them of you. They're already sold on you. You know, your dentist has probably been fixing those molars of yours for the last 10 years, you know, that the, the, your attorney is already or your doctor has already been, you know, giving you a physical every year for the last 15 years. Right. Uh, staff drop off, drop off cookies. Love it. Yes. Okay. Family doctor contractors. I love it. Okay. Yep. Okay. Teachers. Yes. Do you think teachers know a lot of people? They probably have a lot of students. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. Very, very important. Okay, folks. The, what, 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 what I'm willing to, to bet folks is that if you just sat down tonight, Okay. In fact, let's take the next five minutes and let's do a, a speed round. And I want you guys, oh, love it. Barbershop. Good, good, good. You think barbers know a lot of people? You better believe it, right? LinkedIn contact, social media. You guys see where this is going, guys? Okay. LinkedIn, uh, social media. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Keep it coming, guys. Keep it coming. Start, start, continue to spitball. Okay. Because what I'm willing to bet, guys, is we have 17 categories. I'm willing to bet that of those 17 categories, you can find, I don't know, six people for cat per category. What is six? What is six times 17? Six times 17. That's 102, guys. Okay. The mailman. Love it. Okay. Look at that. Okay. Mailman. Mechanic. Yeah. Think about it, guys. Think about anyone that deals with the public. Because anyone that deals with the public knows a lot of people okay my uh, my mechanic that i used to have for years and years and years that guy knew so many people mechanics are great because guess what everybody's car breaks down eventually okay here we go chamber chamber rotary yes this is a really good list guys okay so i'm gonna do this all right I, in fact let's let's go um chamber uh uber guy heck yeah absolutely guys all right oh man there's some really good you know let's keep this let's rolling okay we're gonna get it up to 25 you know why because then all you have to do is pick four people per category i'm we're doing all the thinking for you okay hvac yes let's go with uber um cashiers yes if the, the person you buy you know, the barista do you think they know a lot of people right okay so we'll leave the list at that, but I wanted to point out to you guys, okay, you have 25 categories of people. Your homework is tonight before you go to bed, I want you to write down four people per category. And if you can't think of but one person for that category, make it so that 25 categories equals 100 people. All right, folks? Because what I want everyone to do here is very, very simple. I want every single one of you to succeed, okay? We know this works, okay? We absolutely know this works. Now, here's the thing, guys. I'm going to give you this document right here, right now, all right? All you have to do is, um, is, is, uh, is, is create a list around it. Now, here's the thing, guys. Do not request access, okay? I don't want to get 100 emails tomorrow, okay? Download a copy, and I'm going to show you how to do that, all right? So I'm going to put it in the chat right now. Everybody now has a list of 25 different people or 25 different categories, okay? 
so that you can do it, so that you can start creating your list. But look, guys, all you, you have to do is click file, make a copy, make your own copy and do whatever you want with it. All right. Do not request access. Okay. I will throw rocks at you next time I see you. <laughs> all right, folks. All right. And it's very simple. The conversation doesn't have to be anything crazy. Okay. Very, very easy. It can be just something along the lines of, Hey, Scott, it's been a while since we talked, you know, just wanted to let you know, my, 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 uh, my company is now uh, uh, working on commercial transactions. Who do you know that might be looking to lease, buy, or sell? That's all. How's that? How hard is that, guys? One sentence. Who do you know that's looking to lease, buy, or sell? Do you guys all think you can do it? Type 100 in the chat if you think that you're capable of doing that, okay? If you're 100% uh, uh, um, sold on this is how you're going to take your first commercial deal, Okay. Ruby's with me. Scott already did it, but I think he can do it again, right? Okay, why? Because I can think of 62,000 reasons why he'd want to do it again. Look at it. He's like, yeah, hey, yeah. Guys, because people already know, like, and trust you. You don't have to sell yourself. All you have to do is help them find something, you know? Okay, Holly's with me. Jeannie's with me. Okay, now here's the thing, guys. We have 47 people on this call right now. How many of you are going to be the one to do it? Okay. How many of you are going to come back this time next week and say, I got my first deal from this? Maybe it's a lease. Maybe it's a buy requirement. Maybe it's a sell. You know, be nice, right? Okay, folks. So what I want to express to you guys is most people, it's not a question of you having the resources. Most people think, oh, I need to learn this. I need to learn that. No, most people are not using the resources that they have to their full extent. They're not resourceful enough. Okay. So many people do so much with so little, but the average person thinks, well, I, 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 I got to do this first. And I, I, I got to do that first. No, no, you don't. No, you pick up the phone, call someone that already know, likes and trusts you and, and, and let them know that you're, you're, you're in the commercial business period and see what they say. All right, guys, does that make sense? Okay. Guys, this is the tip of the tip of the tip of the iceberg. Okay. Yep. Uh, love it, love it, love it. Yeah, have you had six success? Uh, so Anthony says, I'm a military vet with, with more friends across the country than I do here in Washington. Absolutely. Yeah, you can get referrals, guys. You can you can find someone in three states over, find a local uh, agent there, refer them to the business, make 25%. Absolutely. Scott says, uh, absolutely, I'm a vet too. Yeah, yeah, folks, use all the connections that you have. It just doesn't have to be your local market because last I checked, you can get a referral fee from, from um, sending business across the country with me guys. Okay. So folks, like I started to say, this is the tip of the tip of the tip of the iceberg, right? All you need to do, all you need to do is implement. But the problem is most people you know, are, are shy to implement. I want you to write this down. Okay. 991. Most people think success is on the other side of some more information, 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 information. I've given you enough information to make you your next $50,000, 60,000, 62 in Scott's case. Okay, guys, I've just given you a $50,000 present. I want you to go and run with it. That's for free. I'm putting this out into the world for you guys. Okay. Now, if you're excited and serious about growing your business, folks, we it's coming up on August 1st on Thursday. What does that mean? The year is 66% over, right? What is that? Seven months? What's seven out of 12? You get the point. It's more than half over. The point I want to make is if you said to yourself, this is going to be my year, 2024 is when I'm going to knock it out. And you haven't done that yet, folks. Okay. You need to maybe readjust your strategy. Okay. If you're not already more than halfway past the goals you set for yourself back in January, let's, let's link up arms and let, let's get you on the right path. If you haven't figured out how to take listings yet, if you haven't taken at least one or maybe even two listings per month since the beginning of the year, guess what, folks? We need to get you the right strategy in your place. Because what's that called? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. You hear me talk about this all the time, guys. It's insanity to expect something uh, that, that different is going to come from the same amount of, of effort and more importantly, from the same strategy. Okay, We need to switch some things up. So folks, I'm doing a training on Thursday, Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern. So that will be uh, 8 a.m. Pacific. You guys can figure out for, for Central and so forth, right? The, the, the training is going to be on how we help agents learn to take commercial listings. 
The most important thing I want you to understand is, folks, we're here to help. This is my gift to you. This is just your first $50,000 that you're going you're gonna to earn from, from my teachings. What I want you to know is it's available for everybody. Come click on the link. All right, we're doing the, the, the presentation. What we're going to do is we're going to show you the entire process that we walk our students through, who to reach out to, what to say, how to say it, how to turn a stranger into a client, a client into a listing, and a listing into a commission check. All right, guys? So if you've ever, you know, um, you felt like that process was a little bit elusive, go ahead and click on that link. Book yourself for the call. It's free. What do you have to lose, okay? But you know what you have to gain? You could gain the strategy that you're going to use for the rest of your career, okay? Be smart. Click on the link. Come and learn because the, the one thing that, that, that you, you can never get any poorer for is knowledge. Knowledge is something you can give out every single day and you're no poorer for doing it, okay? I'm more than happy to help you guys, point you in the right direction. It, it's you know it's, it's, it's one, one of the things I, I love most in life. I get fired up. That's why I come here, right? Because I want you guys to know it's available for everybody hearing my voice, okay? But you guys have to take the first step, all right? I've already shown you what you need to do to get your next deal. What I want you guys to understand is take the first step, click that link. I look forward to seeing you guys on Thursday. And more importantly, I look forward to hearing this time next week, okay, about how you implemented it and the business that you got from it, okay? I can't do anything more for you. I can't, the only thing I can't do is I can't pick up the phone for you, okay? That way you got, you got to do it. I'll meet you halfway, all right? But Scott, Air 5, buddy, thank you so much for being here. I, and, and, and thank you for being an example, more importantly, of people that were given an opportunity and ran with it, okay? So um, more important than anything, so thank you. And number one, thank you for your service. Really appreciate you, buddy. Good to see you here. Thank you all for being here. I'll catch you later. Talk to you soon.